Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Ethereum. Uh, I am assuming it's been a been a, about a week or two since I've last played the brand new session here. And uh, from what I remember, we are we, we seem to be rolling down towards the end here. I would I would think I think we're getting close, uh, very very close to the end. Things threads are starting to wrap up. They're starting to get they're starting to come to a head. So uh, let us. Let's continue on and see uh, see how far along we actually are here. Let's go into the rec room and let's talk to Icewind. Benji, this is not right. You know it. The Alliance betrayed our people to the Revy. The Alliance did what it must do to survive. We can't stand a chance against the Revy. Our only hope was to make peace. Chad, this doesn't sound like you. You would never back down from a fight. Who says I'm backing down? The Revy are not going to stop with Vega. I'm ready to fight wherever and whenever, but I will not fight alongside the Revy. I will not attack my own people. We are doing this for our people. The Revy cannot be trusted. And yet Arya and Athena flew into Tars under Revy escort. How can you trust them? Arya will keep them at arm's length. You have a lot of faith in a backwater militia commander. I cannot allow my home to fall into Revy hands. I see this as the only way out. It doesn't matter. This is still wrong. Are we going to have a problem, Icewind? I don't know. <laughs> Finally got him to shut the hell up. <laughs> it took it took 12 chapters and numerous innumerable missions, uh, but we finally did. And you know, I haven't I haven't viewed the scoreboard in forever. So let's see what we what we're doing here. Um blah 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 blah. blah. Yes, I'm still at the bottom of the... <laughs> still at the bottom. 264 kills. <laughs> that is pretty much what I expected. Uh, let us go to the hangar. And let's talk to Ayami. And I hope I remem remember her voice. Banshee. Shh. Have you noticed how Panther has been really quiet lately? I noticed her sitting in the back at the last briefing. She always has some opinion. But she has said nothing about what's going on. I tried talking to her yesterday, but she completely ignored me. That's not like her. And I saw her taking, talking to Icewind earlier today. I think he's the only person she's talked to in the last few days. Watch your back out there today. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, okay. So her and Icewind are in cahoots. They're gonna, they're gonna jump ship. I just, I just know it. Gonna turn rogue. Um, well, actually, I guess technically we have turned rogue <laughs> since we're not following the rest of the fleet. But uh, yeah, they're going to unturn rogue. Your objective in this system is the alien orbital. Al oh wait, sorry, that's not alien. Allen Orbital Research Facility in orbit around Proshan to. Yeah, whatever. The area around the facility is too hot for the Canopus, particularly in our current condition. We'll travel to a staging area at Nav 1 and send our Cheng down on from there. We have been warned to hold our position, but we're not going to do that. When we enter the restricted space around Procyon 2, we will most likely be fired upon. Return fire at your discretion. Remember, while these pilots may be fellow UEA officers, they are following orders that are not legal in the eyes of the governing body of Vega. To minimize our threat signature, we will be flying with only one escort wing. Hopefully our incursion will be taken as a misunderstanding and we will not be bothered. Alpha wing will consist of Panther, Banshee, Icewind, and Ayami. Panther, you've got lead. Oh, this is not going to go well. She's in the lead and so is Icewind on this one. Oh boy. We're taking the Canopus to a staging area just inside a restricted space around Procyon 2. And just escort the Canopus to Nav 1. Okay. Yeah, this is... You'll be facing our own out there. Do not engage unless they fire first. Good luck. Uh, yeah, this is... I, I can already tell this is not going to go well here. Uh, would a friend or foe missile actually work <laughs> when you're going up against other friendlies? Um... That is that is the question that boggles my mind here. But let's take some seekers instead. Um, for now, I'll probably regret that, and I'm going to leave the torpedo output or the, the four torpedoes uh, just in case. Uh, oh, oh, throttle engaged. 
And for one, you're cleared for lunch. All right. Uh, let us see what we have going on out here. Hopefully I remember the controls here. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, I've been playing so many games since between now and then. All ships break an attack. All right, break an attack. Uh, although I thought we weren't supposed to attack unless they fired on us, but... Uh-oh, ice wind now. Oh, they're, they're turning on us. Oh. Oh, you bastards. I, I knew it. I knew it, you bastards. Ice wind, guess what? I finally get the pleasure of killing your ass. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take it over there. They are attacking our stuff. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it, man. All right, that's one down. I don't know which one it was. I th oh, that was that was Ice Wind. Yeah, he actually did suck after after all, didn't he? <laughs> after all that. Uh, and this is Panther. Goodbye, Panther. We didn't really see eye to eye. All right, dock immediately. Okay, I will do said things. Although you are you are listed as critical. Uh, Canopus, request a landing. Am I going to land onto a deck that is full of mutineers? I guess we'll find out in a minute. I should actually probably land on the right, <laughs> in the right area. The, the rear of the ship is the way you approach. And I should probably flip around as well while I'm at it. I might actually do one of these missions with the uh, cockpit off. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, oh, oh. Up there. There you go. Oh, nope, nope. Down, up, down, left, right. BA start. All right. Great job out there. Despite Panther and Ice Winds betrayal, we have safely arrived at the staging point. Yeah, that was actually a really quick one. Uh, report to the briefing room immediately for your next assignment. Okay. That was scarily quick. <laughs> of course, this is... Given how hard all these other missions have been on the normal mode, that was... That was almost to give me. Um, I, I do want to see the rec room, though. I can't believe this. Panther and Icewind. Panther and I had always been good friends at Icewind. I know I never really liked him, but these last few weeks, I really started to appreciate him. Now they're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I really have to say for that. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I mean, Icewind had the most development uh, of the characters, but, uh, yeah. Okay, pilots, listen up. We're in position. It's a good bet that the Alliance knows why we are here. Still, we, want, we will attempt to confuse them by sending out multiple diversionary attacks. The real attack will come from Alpha Wing, led by Banshee. Bravo Wing will fly cover. Head straight toward the research facility and take it out. Oh, and one last thing. We've picked up comm chatter from our sister ship, the Sirius. She carries a fighter complement equivalent to our own. If you encounter her, proceed with your best discretion. It would be a shame to have to destroy her. But it is unlikely you'll be able to escape her fighters. Either take out all her fighters or take her out before she can scramble all of them. It's your choice, Banshee. Oh, well, we know what choice I'm going to make. <laughs> Especially since you didn't give me a, a loadout here, so I know I have torpedoes. All sorts of torpedoes. I'm going to actually turn the cockpit off for this one. Uh, I think we've seen enough of the cockpit just for a little bit. I will turn it back on again. Uh, unless this is the last mission. <laughs> in which case, no, I won't turn it back on again. <laughs> uh, we've got a nice nice strike wind here. Strike wing here. Alright, I am going after the Sirius. Let us get our torpedo ready. Doot. Doot, 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 doot. Alright, torpedo away. Another lock, please. Our lock would be good. Another lock would be good. There we go. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, there we go. One more. One more torpedo. Come on, we almost got her. There we go. 
Torpedo away. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Wasn't quite enough. Damn it. Alright. Gonna need... Gonna need my other guys here to... To do some... Do some work for me. Hopefully they will. Probably could tell them to attack my target, I guess. It would probably be the smart thing to do. Alright, I have friend or foe missiles, which suck. Because they are targeting everything I don't want them to target. Take this guy out. Alright. Hopefully I can get my other guys to focus their attention a little bit. Oh, no, they're going to go after the fighters. Damn it, man. Cap ship's almost done, for crying out loud. Just take it out so we don't have to deal with all these damn fighters. Go. There we go. All right. Well, we're doing we're doing good things. Damn it. I need to get away from this guy. He's got a bead on me. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Take this guy out as soon as we can. And, come on, man, this thing handles like a damn pig, compared to the, <laughs> compared to the experimental fighters I was in, this is, oh, wow, that, that was a weird move, <laughs> physics, physics, okay, okay, come on, guys, fire some torpedoes at that damn flat top, crying out loud, can I, can I order them? Ayami, attack my target, please. Please attack my target. They're almost done for, for crying out loud. Alright, alright, come on. Come on. These guys are just, like... Floating around in space, not doing anything. I feel like the AI has a little bit of a problem here. Alright, come on. I told you to attack my target. For God's, for God's sakes, attack my target. Jesus. I left it targeted. Oh, Ooh, what is going on there? Some, some jumpiness right there. Come on. <laughs> Why won't anybody listen to my orders? <laughs> we don't have to take on all these fighters, guys. You can you can actually destroy the ship. That would be very nice. If you would do that. I mean, I've already put four torpedoes in, in the damn thing. It's not going to take much more. You can breathe on it. <laughs> Space breath. You heard it here first. Uh, come on. Alright, now take the damn thing out. Oh, they surrender. Well, <laughs> tough noogies because you just got another torpedo in your deck. <laughs> uh, Alright, well they surrendered. Wimps. <laughs> uh, and my, my fighter squadron is, is beat to hell here too. And we've got hostiles, all right. Break and attack. I have, I have a, a a very poor armor situation going on here. My front armor is beat to hell. Oh, is there another? Oh no, okay. I was gonna say, is there another another cap ship here? I think there is actually. Uh, all right. Well, hopefully I don't have to take them on because I have no. Yeah, there are cop ships here. I have... Oh, I was supposed to take out the... The, uh... Station, wasn't... Oh... Oh, that sucks. Because I used up all my torpedoes. Oh... Well, that's what I get for not... For not reading the... For not realizing that I, I was using up my, my only ammo. <laughs> Got got a little too cocky. Got ahead of myself. Thought I could save myself some trouble uh, in destroying that other, destroying the Sirius. But apparently, you couldn't destroy it anyway. So there's 
the destroyer there. Yeah, I gotta take out this orbital facility. I'm glad I have a turret on this thing, because my turret is far better at... <laughs> at... Uh, firing on things than I am. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I can't... I can't even... Oh, somebody's, somebody's taking it on. Alright. Very good. Oh, Ayami took it out. Nice. Nice work. Thank you for... Thank you for that clutch maneuver right there, Ayami. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Alright. We've got... We've got... A nice, nice amount of damage as well. Let's get back to base before more crap happens. Alright, very good. UEA Canopus, please allow me to land. Well, uh, thank you. And thank you for being all lined up for me for change. <laughs> change of pace. And slide it in. There we go. Research facility was destroyed. Long range scans are picking up quantum traces. I think it's safe to say that we were successful at taking out the reactor. Good job out there. All right. So the Derevi, like, uh, shortly after the Canopus victory in the Procyon system, the Free Republic of Vega was officially formed to uphold the best interests of the Vega people. With help from the Zayeta, the Revi were purged from the Vega sector. So uh, we did good, some good stuff. And that's the end of the story for now. There is some DLC for uh, that is in, in the works for Ethereum. When that comes out, it'll be free DLC as well. Uh, it's going to be episodic, but when the first episode comes out, I will have that for you guys. And potentially when there's more episodes, I'll even have those. So uh, this is... The, the series is done for now, but not, not out. Uh, it will be continuing. I did very much enjoy myself in this game it does bring back lots of memories there are lots of problems uh, lots of bugs the AI is kind of brain dead in spots uh, some of the missions because of the randomization uh, become almost impossible to uh, to beat and uh, you know there were a few bugs here and there uh, with the music and uh, those have been fixed mostly in some of the bug fixes um, the story was decent, but the uh, characters were not very well fleshed out. Uh, in fact, we spent the large part of, of the story just getting sort of early background information on how to fly your ship and whatnot. Even when we were like halfway through the story, they were still talking about tactics and, and uh, various things with that. And um, it's... Uh, that's okay for the early game. That's okay to sort of introduce you to the story, but at some point you gotta actually ha you gotta actually care about your characters, and uh, it uh, it uh, did not uh, work out quite that way. And we had a little a little jump there in the <laughs> in the credits. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so uh, yeah, like you know, at the end when I killed Panther and Icewind, it really didn't matter to me. At that point, I was like, you know what, screw it. I could see it coming. It's been telegraphed, and they really didn't weren't that fleshed out to begin with. I mean, Icewind was fleshed out more than Panther, but still, in the end, it kind of felt pretty empty. It felt like the characters were just there. Um, I had no real uh, stake in them per se. I like the way that the overall universe story has started out. Uh, I think that the universe would have been flushed out even more had the developer continued forward with the um, simulator missions. He was going to do historical simulator missions, and he might still do that. He might still add them to the to the game, and I think that would also help with some of the back background on the story and why some of these motivations are what they are, why um, they wanted to abandon the Vegas sector so, so easily, and uh, how hard it was to actually get the Revy to, you know, help them out, the one faction, and and so on and so forth. So I think some of that would have would really help with the universe. But all in all, and, and yes, I was frustrated on several missions um, just because of the, the game was a little bit unbalanced. Um, 
there are some areas that, you know, I didn't quite like. The, there is a lot of repetition, uh, even more so than you would normally get in a space game like this. I feel like they could have done something a little bit different. Um, you know, had some scripted things maybe happen, or even, you know, uh, take that randomization feature that they had and just sort of um, tack it on to the end of the of the mission itself to say, oh, hey, before you land, go do this or go do that. Like, you know, Wing Commander did that a little bit, you know, in the later Wing Commanders, and several other games do that where, you, you know, you think you're done, but then, oh, they, sit, they send you back out again. Maybe even having a mission where you had to stop off and refuel and rearm and then continue on, uh, you know, multi-part missions like that. Uh, everything was very cookie cutter, very straightforward. And then all of a sudden you'll get a, a mission like the second to last one there where it was just like, hey, uh, five minutes, we just did this just to, you know, push the story along and it's it's feels odd. You know, it's, it's suddenly you go from a balls hard mission to a ridiculously easy mission that was... It just felt like kind of empty in that regard. Some of those could have just been, you know, uh, cutscenes uh, more than anything else. I, I appreciate that they put you in the seat and they actually, you know, said, here, we want you to be a part of this. You're a part of the story. You should be in there and doing that. But sometimes it, it's, it kind of breaks the, uh, the pace that you're at when you go and do that. And holy crap, there are so many people that kickstarted this this game, <laughs> including me, which my name flew by a long time ago. But that will do it for me for Ethereum. Thanks very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next uh, the next series. <laughs>